Donald Gorgon versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. Who would win? And yes, I'm using the juvenile for this. There will be a tour. There might be a there might be a tour review tomorrow, but I'm not guaranteeing it. And it's not going to be a Schleck figure since it's no Schleck November. Basically, the metaphor for no Schleck November is that there won't be any toy reviews of Schleck for November. I haven't made these kinds of videos in a while. Anyways, back to the topic. Let's take a look at the statistics. The Donald Gorgon is 6.6 .6 feet long, as tall as half a person, and weighs approximately 156 pounds. While the Tyrannosaurus Rex is about 40 feet long and as tall as a two-story building and weighs approximately seven to nine tons. The winner in this case would be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The only other strategy the Dino Gorgon would have is if it were able to jump on the Tyrannosaurus and bite its spinal cord or one of the most important arteries, the carotid artery. artery. If it managed to bite the carotid artery, then the Tyrannosaurus would die but well, it will bleed out within four minutes and die. Well, that's for humans. We're talking about dinosaurs. The strategy that I down that the Down Gorgon has is that it's one of the first saber tooth. It's a, it's one of the first predators with saber teeth. Recent studies indicate that the Tyrannosaurus Rex was made in China. I'm just kidding. But unfortunately, just like with the last three creatures. With the last three who would win episodes, there's no good way to determine a winner. The Dino Gorgon lived approximately 200 and went extinct approximately 252 million years ago, which was way before dinosaurs even existed, which dinosaurs existed 230 million years ago. While the Tyrannosaurus Rex went extinct 66 million years ago, and that was the last time the dinosaurs ever existed. So yeah, if you if we were able to bring these guys back, then there would be a complicated fight. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye.